Hello my name is Linda, and I will be demonstrating the iAgent Banking Module. The Banking Module has four main tabs. Personal Banking, Credit Cards, Debit slash ATM Cards and Loans. Each main tab had further sub-tabs offering various services. Starting first with the Personal Banking tab, the agent can see the complete account details of a customer. The Summary sub-tab offers the list of accounts belonging to the customer. The account numbers, types, currency, balance, etc. are displayed. Next is the General sub-tab, which holds the links or triggers to third-party systems, like Renewal Term Deposit, which will open a bank's intranet site where term deposit forms are stored. In the Transactions sub-tab, the agent can view the last X transactions. Agent needs to select the account number and and its associated transactions will be displayed. In the Funds Transfer sub-tab, the agent selects the debit account and credit account together with the transfer type such as own account transfer. Upon entering the amount to be transferred and confirming, the agent receives a summary of the transfer, and once confirmed the transaction is passed to the back end for processing. From the Bills sub-tab, the agent can view and pay the due bills. By selecting account and type of bill, the agent gets all the bills that are registered with the selected account number. Once bills are retrieved, the agent gets an option to pay the whole or partial amount. Through the Checkbook sub-tab, checkbooks can be ordered, while also the status of a given check can be retrieved. The agent can select the account number, checkbook leave size and then the request is submitted for processing. To retrieve check status, agent needs to enter the check number. The last sub-tab in this group is the statement. From here the agent can request account statements and send by mail or fax. For the future, the agent can set the date from where onwards the statement is required. The next main tab is credit cards, from here agents can see the complete list and summary of each credit card. Fields displayed in this tab are dependent on what the credit card system returns. In this scenario the credit card number, currency, due amount, due date, and outstanding balance are displayed. Through the chargeback sub-tab, the agent can submit a request for chargeback to the backend. On a request submission either an email is sent to relevant departments or a direct request is submitted through the credit card system. In the payments sub-tab, credit card payments can be made after credit card and account number are selected. The agent can see the due amount and then pay the credit card bill. Through the Transactions tab, agents can see the last X transactions. By selecting the credit card number the agent can view the transaction details. In the Block Card sub-tab, credit cards can be blocked. Agents can select multiple cards and block them at once. Similarly cards can be activated through the Card Activation sub-tab. From Debit slash ATM Cards tab, agent can receive the list and summary of all the cards. Card number, expiry date, issued date, linked account number, and status are displayed. Through the Transactions tab, the last X transactions of the selected card are displayed. Through Block Cards and Unblock Cards sub-tabs, agents can select a single or multiple cards and the request will be submitted to the backend for the selected function. All the loans related functionality is defined under the Loans tab, from here agent can view all the loans a customer has and the status of each loan. The account number, loan type, currency, loan amount, outstanding balance, interest rate, payment schedule, and installments left are displayed. The New Loan sub-tab, allows the agent to request a new loan through selecting the loan type, amount, and schedule. Thank you for your time viewing this demonstration, bye.